Hey Shugs, it's me, the most comfortable seat in any house, Shay's Lounge. <laughs> Today, I'm gonna show you how to go from this with a full beard to a full beat with a full beard. <laughs> I love a bearded queen. I think they are beautiful and probably the sexiest version of queen to me, probably because they look like a man, LOL. But since I've been working from home, I have been experimenting and playing around with being a bearded queen and having a bearded face. So I wanted to share with you uh, my process and hopefully inspire you to grow a beard and throw in some makeup. So I'm going to glue down these brows. Here's the video link if you want to uh, glue down your brows in the same way. And then I'll be right back for full coverage. Mmm full coverage. All right, so we've got our eyebrows glued down and the next step for me anyway is starting on the forehead. So I'm gonna put foundation on her and then we're gonna draw on our eyebrows. Every drag queen does their makeup in different steps. I do the full forehead before I do anything else. So, so my foundation is Mayron. It is a cream blend stick. My color is light olive. I also use medium olive and dark olive. So I'm just gonna go in, make sure you cover up that glue uh, where we glued down the eyebrows really, really well. So go against the, uh, the way you painted, go up, go down, pack that bullshit in there. Then I'm gonna go into my dark olive thing, a brown circle over your face. Um, which wouldn't be the first time I've had a brown circle over my face. And then I'm going to connect the two with um, medium olive. We're just going to blend that. All right, it's important to not over blend because we're going to be performing on a stage, even if it's an online stage, and we want the makeup to be seen. So don't over blend. This is blended, but it's not over blended. Now I'm going to draw on my eyebrows. Again, I use the uh, Ben Nye Cream Shadow. It's a character shadow, number three. So I'm gonna go in, start at the bottom, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna go up and down. Up, over, and down. All right, so that's gonna be kind of the bottom. And then we're gonna go in and connect the top to that arch. And I know what you're gonna say, but Shays, the tail isn't as clean as I want it to be. We're not done yet. I'm just gonna go in and kind of shade that brow right here. Um, every A lot of people are doing like a natural brow, kind of a look at the front of the, or at the beginning of your eyebrow. So using your nubs like we're doing is like helping with that look, or I think it does. <laughs> it might not, but I think it does. <laughs> so we're gonna do the other eyebrow. Again, and we, because they're not exactly the same size, I'm gonna start a little bit out further than the actual hair to compensate for that. Okay. Remember, they're sisters, they're not twins. <laughs> so, honey, these aren't even close sisters, okay? They're like... These sisters are estranged. All right, so after we've got that, I go back over it with a different shade of the Ben Nye Cream. This is also a character shadow, it's dark brown. When I bought it, uh, I bought it at a local like costume shop here. It's called Freaky Finds, it's pretty badass. Um, the lady was like, that's far too dark for you. And I was like, ma'am, ma'am, sell me the character shadow <laughs> please all right so the dark the darkest part of your eyebrow should be the tip the, the tail of it so i'm going to focus most of my time over there but i'm going to blend it up to make it kind of um not so one-dimensional or as miss cracker would say what dimensional so i just darkened that up to me it helps really blend in with your natural hair or mine's dark so it it, it helps a lot so again, starting from the tail. 
lot of drag is about contrast. So if there's something dark next to something light, it's gonna pop. The light is gonna pop next to that darkness. So, okay, so we did that. We're gonna go in just on the bottom because we really wanna make the eyebrows pop, right? Because we're trying to make people forget that under this layer of glue are actual eyebrows. <laughs> So we're gonna try to make them forget. All right. How is she? I'm living, I'm living. Let's set them with some powder. Oh my God, what powder do I use? Do you care? Okay, great, cool, awesome. <laughs> um, so right now I'm using NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop. Um, it's a setting powder, it is beautiful. This shade is the lightest shade that they make, which is light. I really like this product because it stays on a long time and it's bright, so I really like that about it. I just put it right here where I want it to be the brightest. The other powder that I use on the rest of my forehead is um, the next shade down, which, oops, which is called light medium. So <laughs> she's not a heavy medium, she's a light medium. She's a, a light medium in California who uh, reads tarot cards. That's a light medium. So put her all over the rest of your forehead. All right, so our eyebrows are done. Our forehead and eyebrows are set. Um, bitch, let's do the rest of our face. For me, the next part of the face is the eyes. So let's get started. Mmm, ah, started. Eyes, eye power, smizing. What? Blooper reel. Camera. What? Action. Cat. 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 Is this gonna work out? Are these brows even good? Are they even good? I'm starting my eyes. I put eye primer on. Um, earlier before I glued down my brows. So what I'm gonna do now though is I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna put This is Mehron. It's a cream stick. It's in white. So I'm gonna go in with this White on an angle brush. This is probably from Dollar General. Oh, no, it, it's BH Cosmetics and it's an angle brush. I love BH Cosmetics So have you seen the Festival of Colors palette? I live for denim. The color denim is amazing. I'll try to find it here in a minute. I'm gonna take this angle brush with white and I'm gonna go in all over my eyelid here so we can highlight underneath the eyebrow. And I'm gonna come down the side of my nose like that. All right, so we've got one eye done. I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the other eye. So why are we covering our eyelids with white? Well, we're doing that because we're giving the eyeshadow something to adhere to, but we're also doing it so the eyeshadow color pops and it's like more of the same color that you see in the palette. If I didn't, all the colors would be a little bit more muted than they are in the palette. And they just wouldn't be as vibrant. All right, so we've got that done. Now I know this is stupid and it doesn't make any sense, but I'm not gonna put any foundation right here, but I am gonna go ahead and do my nose because if I don't do it now, it's harder to blend later and I'm not putting foundation under here because if I do, fallout will come down from my eyeshadow and it's going to wreck my world. Go ahead and blend her right in, right? Um, and then I'm gonna take just that white, that white uh, cream stick and I'm gonna paint um, a, a white line down my nose. Cause girl, we need a smaller nose. I'm just gonna use my finger and just blend her in. But you can still see her. She's blended, but she's uh, visible. Love it, are we living? <laughs> Is it a little bit broken? Does it look like a broken nose? I love that. That's hot. That would be really good on a Varsity Blues uh, theme party. Come with a broken nose. She's good. I think she's good. We're also going to do more uh, powder, highlight, and contour all over the nose later. So don't even stress about it. Alright, so we've got our 
white all over our eyelids. I'm just gonna blend that just to take off some excess so that way it doesn't crease up on you. And we're ready to start on the colors. The one we're gonna use today is BH Cosmetics Color Festival. No, they don't sponsor this video or my content or me or my drag or my cat. Um, but it would be really cool if they did um, very good products. So I'm going to serve a pink kind of a look today. So we're going to go in uh, with this color Groove. It's kind of a peachy. We're going to use Groove. And we're also going to use Sequin um, down there. Probably going to use a little DJ too. It's a brown. So let's start with Groove. And I'm going to go in... And this is like the makeup that I learned how to do from the get-go because I am not the best makeup artist, but I am getting better. She's getting better. So I'm going to go in with this pinky corally color and I'm just kind of following my, um, well, where my crease should be. Okay. Then I'm going to fill that eyelid. I'm not gonna go all the way over because I'm gonna use a darker color over there. So we're just making a little half moon. We're gonna do the same thing over here. Symmetry is important. You wanna make sure that you're serving the same eye shape. So I'm gonna quickly fix. I want it round and not flat. The flatter it is right there, the more evil villain. <laughs> Um, that you serve, <laughs> I've noticed. So, if that's your gig, make that shit as flat as you can, mama. That's pretty similar. It's good enough for now, because we're gonna go in with a darker pink. We're gonna go in with that sequins. It's actually called sequins. Like, it's plural. Plural of, of sequin. I'm gonna take that. So you want the outer part of your eye makeup to be the darkest. And you want to brighten up the middle part, which is why we're leaving that white on the inside. We started with a really light pink right there on the inside of that eye. It's just going to make my eye brighter. Um, a lot brighter. And it's going to appear a little bit bigger. So I'm just coming over about where even where the nubs are, just blending that, making these two colors love each other, because they already do. I mean, it's like a coral and like a purple, like a dark pink purple. So I kind of live for that. A lot of that's going to be covered up by eyeliner later, so don't stress about it. Almost completely done with this eye. What we are gonna do though, is I'm gonna bring that blending down like in the middle. I'm gonna blend that a little bit more so you get more of a transition on both sides. And then I'm gonna go in with this DJ. It's a brown color on this palette. It's beautiful, it's a deep brown. I'm gonna go in very softly with the brown because I want to darken, I want to deepen the pink and purple but I don't want it to be super brown. Does that make sense? I want it to be kind of smoky over there. Boom, boom, boom. Cool, 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 blend that out. All right. And she's just darker. So again, we are making, we're making things dimensional, right? We want it to be brighter in the center, transitioned in a beautiful way to the outside where it gets darker. All right, eyeshadow for now is done, so let's move on to eyeliner. So what I'm using right now is I use this e.l.f. It's Intense Ink Eyeliner. To me, it stays on. It doesn't go anywhere. Um, and it's easy to put on. It's also easy to throw. It's super simple to throw. All right, so I'm going to go in right there in the corner.
and I'm gonna go all the way across the bottom of the lid all the way to the corner and then where my eyeshadow ends that's where the tail is gonna be right up there so I'm gonna go right up there and just draw a straight line down next I'm gonna connect those two lines to make a triangle and then you are gonna fill fill in that triangle girl do you see do you see so that's what I'm gonna go for today I like to set my eye liner because do you see what just happened up there for that reason so I just take a little bit of black and I just touch it on top of the eyeliner it does two things for you it helps it to it helps it stay on your face longer helps it uh, set faster and um, it makes it blacker as well the bad part is now I have to go fix that great awesome <laughs> If you if you freak out, don't just don't freak out. You can fix everything in makeup. I fixed that, but not perfectly because I'm gonna put eyelashes on top of it. You're not gonna see most of this anyway. So there's that eye. Now I'm gonna come in and do the left, the right eye. So I think my eyes are pretty much done. The last thing I like to do, and it's always iffy with me, is to connect the out just to connect this part to this part. It's to help our contour later too, because you want your nose contour to go down and then up. Because <clears throat> we're giving, we're moving our face up, right? We're moving our features. So I'm gonna go in, same palette, Color Festival. I'm gonna go in with this Chic, the color Chic, it's that one right there. It's close to my skin tone, but it's darker. So I'm gonna start off with just a little, little, little bit and I'm just gonna connect right under my eyebrow and I'm gonna help create this socket. See how that darkened it just a little bit? Just to give definition, like what are you doing, right? Giving definition. And then I'm gonna do it to the other side. So we did that. I'm just gonna blend her out a little bit. This is helping our contour later on our nose. Since we're painting our face on, we have to tell people what things are. So this is one way I'm telling people, hey, this is my eye socket. And this is my nose contour. All right, so eyes are officially done, yay. I might put some glitter on them later because I'm a drag queen and that's what we do. We thrive on glitter. So, but not now, I'm not gonna do that now. Now we're gonna move on to face. All right, so the next step we're gonna do is we're gonna put foundation on the rest of our face. Whoa, hold on, not the whole face. Since we're doing a bearded look today, I'm only gonna, use, I'm only gonna put foundation where you can see skin. If it has a beard on it, I'm not gonna put foundation on there yet. I'm gonna use something darker to fill that in because drag is about what? Contrast. So I want a highlight, face to be contrasted with this darker beard so we're gonna make them all we're gonna make the face lighter and we're gonna make the beard darker so let's put foundation on first thing I'm gonna do is take my white and I'm going to put it underneath my eyes have y'all seen that um, Trixie Mattel does the kombucha girls makeup first of all it's so fucking funny but second of all, she points out and teaches everyone that this is called underpainting because I'm putting my highlight on now and then going to put my lightest foundation color on top of it. For me, it just works better. If I do it the other way around, I look too white and I look like a raccoon except wearing a white mask instead of a black mask. You know what I'm saying? Like an angel raccoon, like an evil angel raccoon with a white mask. So I don't want to, I don't want to be that girl. <laughs> That's not the look for today. Um, that's not the look. Today, baby, we are going for country 
diva. We're going for she wears pink. She has a Brighton belt. Um, she went to, you know, SMU in Dallas. She is everything with dad's money. So I'm going to put some white up here on my nose. It's going to help our contour later. Great. And it's all white right there. Loves. So now we're going to take our light olive Mayron stick, the exact same one we used right here and right here, and we're gonna go in on top of that. Gonna go in on top of that. Take it all the way up here, it'll make your face more snatched. I think that's a technical makeup term snatched um yeah the next thing we're gonna do is we are going to contour now it's tricky because we have a beard so usually my contour would start up here and it might even come down as far as here but if i go down that far there's no contrast between my contour and my beard and we want that contrast nay we need that contrast so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and draw my contour a little bit higher than my beard line probably right there and go up right probably right there and go up Okay, so it looks really, it looks really high, the contour right now, and that's okay, because we're gonna blend her out, and she's gonna be fabulous. We're also gonna add some uh, powder contour on top of it, so that'll help to darken it, so don't freak out right now. And then I'm going to take a brush uh, with that light olive color that I just used, and I'm gonna paint around that contour. Because as much as we need that contour, mama, we need the highlight. We need that. There you go. See? Pop. Pop, 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 pop. We have a beard, but did she shave? Mm-mm. She didn't shave the neck. So I'm not going to worry about it today. <laughs> We're going to see how it turns out. LOL. All right. So let's blend, bitch. Because it's all about the blending. So I'm just going to start up here, and I'm going to blend. What? She's blended. What? She's blended. I'm blending on the bottom of the contour. I'm not hitting the contour line. I'm just going right underneath it. Don't mess with that line. Remember, we're on stage and we need as much contrast and exaggeration as we can get. So don't mess with that line, mama. Don't. I love it. All right. So now we are going to set the face with that NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop. I'm going to use that for my highlighting powder just like what we did with the rest of the face. And for everywhere else that wasn't a highlight, I'm gonna use that next lightest color, which is um, a light medium. Hey, let's do bottom eyeliner. Today I am using NARS. It's amazing. It's just the longer than life long wear eyeliner. Um, it's been working for me really well. It'll stick around longer than a boyfriend for sure. last thing I'm gonna do to these eyes before I brush off that setting powder is I am gonna go in with um, the colors that we used on the eye and I'm gonna put them right underneath where I put the eyeliner so I'm gonna go in with that sequin that we used on the outer corner I'm just gonna connect that corner over there and drag it around I know what you're gonna say. Oh my God, there's black all over your eye. I know, calm down. It's gonna be fine. We're gonna fix it, don't worry. And then I'm gonna take that uh, the groove color that we used and I'm gonna go in on the middle or the inner eye and just kind of connect it. I'm probably gonna go in with some silver glitter liner on the underneath too, just to make them pop even more. Remember, you're always trying to make your eyes bigger. Like Aubrey O'Day. You remember that episode? Her eyes were huge. But I guess they always are, aren't they? They're like always huge. Dust off that powder. All right. 
All right, so eyes officially done. Now it is literally time for my favorite two parts, which is blush and contour. <laughs> okay, let's get to contouring, bitch. I use, for my contouring, the BH Studio Pro Palette. It works for me, I love it. Um, I'm also gonna use a ColourPop Large Angle Brush, cause you care what brush I'm using. I'm gonna go in on the two darkest colors and kind of mix them around. And then, remember, we're not gonna cover that up at all. We're just gonna hit this contour, baby. So stay above your highlight below and make this area closest to your uh, hairline the darkest. This is really gonna add some dimen more dimension to your face and really give you that snatched look that everyone gags over, bam. Harsh contour, easy versus, so wear your contour. Right, snatched. So now I'm gonna take that second darkest color and just go follow that contour line that was at the top, like at your wig line. Boom, boom, boom. Blend it down a little bit. Bam. If I had shaved right here, if I didn't have a beard, I would contour down here, but I don't really need to. Don't need to. So face is contoured. We love. We loves it. I'm gonna go in now into the nose. So I'm gonna take that second darkest shade and those contour lines that we set up when we did our eye makeup earlier, I'm just gonna follow those down the nose and I'm gonna make my nose smaller. Or try to anyway. I'm gonna try to make this hoe as small as you can get her. You know, because if you're going to put on nose contour, put it on. Do the tip of my nose to cut her off a little bit. And I still haven't decided if I need to do the nostrils very much. So I lightly contour them. Sweet. So it's gonna look like two racing stripes and that's kind of the look you want. Um, it's very in right now, especially when we hit it with some highlight down the middle. It's gonna pick up what we put down earlier and it's gonna make it really pop. <sighs> I'm living for that. Okay, so now I'm gonna take the two whitest colors, mix them together, and drag it down the center where we did the white uh, cream foundation earlier. And that's just gonna make that contrast pop. And bring that highlight up into the forehead a little bit, living, living out loud. And now let's highlight just underneath the contour and between your beard. So I'm gonna take those two lightest colors, mix them together, and just highlight under that. That's gonna do two things. That's gonna make the contour pop and your beard pop. And we're going to uh, darken our beard here in just a minute. And I'm gonna take a little bit and just put it up here, just a little bit more. She's really getting there. Now I have this palette, which I don't, I haven't, it was like one of those things that we were at the cash register checking out. And they're like, oh, since you already bought the BH Studio Pro Contour and Highlight Palette. NYX is gonna give you this one for free. I don't understand why, but whatever. I think I bought like a, nip, a, a NYX like two lip glosses or something or two lips and they gave me, I have no idea why I got this for free. This little cute brush and it's it's a beautiful palette. I'm gonna go in on one of the, the champagne-y kind of brown colors. Knock it off because NYX loves to f pack it in there. And I'm just gonna take it over the top. It adds a little bit of sparkle, a little bit of, it helps your highlight later. And helps your blush. And just kind of blends, blends everything together. Living. Okay, now let's go into NYX blush palette, which is, I have the Sweet Cheeks palette. It's amazing. It's buildable and um, it's really good at helping you create dimension in the face. So I pretty much always start with this guy right here, this dark, I don't know, burgundy. I'm gonna take it and put it right back here because you want that to be the darkest. 
Also, I'm living for contrast, so let's put it at the bottom of the contour too. That way you can build on top of it and make your face more three-dimensional. Bam. You like that? Oh, this is where I get my fucking life right now, is with the blush. I really don't love putting on eye makeup. I don't love covering my brows, but I love me some blush. It's my favorite. Okay, so we've got that. It's even, it's lovely. These two colors, mix them together, and I'm just gonna hit the apple of the cheek and blend it up and out. Up and at them. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. And if you're wondering, is it too much blush? Then you put on the correct amount of blush, 100%. All right, we did contour and blush. Now it's time for eyelashes. Okay, to get that real snuffleupagus look, I have stacked two pairs, three pairs, three pairs of 301s, 501s, 301s off Amazon. If you really like them, I'll put the link down there. I got these off Amazon. I think they're 301s. Um, I'm just, they're stackable, they're beautiful. When you put them on, they just really, boom, pow everything out. Yes, I'm a duo queen, I just can't use the weave glue. Children, don't use weave glue on your eyes. I'm gonna take that, and I'm gonna put it, yes, I know it's crusty, but it'll hold better. So I, I'm not cleaning that out. Fuck. I'm just gonna put that all over. I'm gonna take that and put it all over the lash line. It's already, it broke. It broke. This is, this is broken. But it'll work. So just put it all over your, the lash line and we're gonna let that sit. If you try to put, if I tried to put this on right now, it wouldn't hold for anything. Usually I put on the glue and then I do contour blush and then by the time I'm finished, it's it's done. I just didn't do that today. Out of respect for you. Following along at home like a cookbook. Cause you too want to be a country diva. <laughs> so we've got glue, it's everywhere, it's all over the place, but it's not too much. We're gonna let it sit there and get tacky. You can do this if you like. You could do this at it. Or my favorite is you just sit it down and then you just wait for like a second. The eyelashes are dry, so it's time to put them on. So I'm gonna take this. A good blow is always appreciated. And I'm gonna put it, so I'm gonna start on the, on the lash line at the front of the eye, but not at the back. That's gonna make our eyes what? Bigger. Just put them on there until I love it. Bam, there we go. That's more even, bam. At first it was wonky. I was still living for it, but it was wonky. In a pinch, I would not have fixed it. Okay, so we've got our eyelashes. I'm gonna add some gold glitter or some silver. I got this silver eyeliner at Sally's. I have no idea what the brand is until I looked on there and saw that it was Eye Aroma. I just think it's really cute. And again, trying to make my eyes look bigger. So I'm gonna put it in the corner and drag it out like that. Not the entire length of the eye. Probably gonna put a little dot in there. This shit lasts forever. It lasts all night, but don't get it in your eye. <laughs> It's very painful if you do, so don't do that. All right, sweet. So we've got it in the corners. Oh my God, we're almost there. It's time for lips. Let's do lips. I'm gonna take a NYX lip liner in Y2K. I don't know if you can see that color. It's just dark brown. Love that. So I'm gonna overdraw my lip. Do you see that little line? I'm gonna follow that line all the way around. So we're overdrawing a little bit, and that's cool. Now, what I will do is trim my mustache a little bit more. 
to make the lips pop even more and make them bigger. All right, so I'm just gonna finish outlining the lip. Remember, a dark liner makes for a better lip. And then boom, this is my new go-to favorite. It is Wet n Wild, believe it or not, and it is Liquid Cat Suit. This color is behind the bleachers, and I just live. Look at her. Can you get into that, please? Yaz. If you've never used Liquid Cat Suit before, I highly recommend it. A lot of us at the club use it, because it lasts forever. Also, you might be thinking, wow, that's a lot of liner. I know, girl, because I'm trying to make you look and see that I fucking got lips, even though you're sitting way back there by the bar. So I want to make you definitely see that I'm lip syncing and I know all the words. All right, so we got lips and lashes. Everything's done, but the final touches. <laughs> Yay, vinyl touches. So my final touches today are going to be, um, I got an eyebrow pencil from Ben Nye. What I'm gonna do, it's black, because it needs to match my beard. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through the hair, darken it up, fine out the lines, and make them really like chiseled, just like we did our contour. All right, so she's covered. But if you get really, really close, you can see all that. So I'm just gonna take um, a sponge, one well, that I'm definitely gonna wash as soon as I'm done with this, and I'm just gonna go in and kind of move that product around. So this does a couple of things. It makes it just in general darky, darker, <laughs> darky. It makes it just darker in your beard, um, in your beard. It's gonna make it look a lot thicker, and it's gonna take away the like strokes of the pencil so it's not gonna look like that now I'm not I'm not sure if I love that because I don't really like hair right there I usually kind of shave that down so I might take that off and cover that with base so we're good with the beard last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put on some Inglot sparkling dust this is this is amazing I don't even dip my hand or anything into the actual container. I just use what's left on the lid because it is so good and I want it to last forever, which it will. So I'm just gonna take that and really go in on the highlight on both sides. Duh. We're gonna do a little bit on the nose too. See her? Who is she? Oh, she has lounge. I love it when I tell people my name and they're like, oh, like Shayla, but like Shays. It's like, no, it's a couch, honey. It's a couch. So I'm living for that, living for that side. The absolute last thing I'm gonna do to my face is put on some Prep and Primes and fix it. Bam. Because you can never be what? Too set. So make sure you really Set that mug. All right, now I'm off to do wig and clothing. And we'll see how this all turns out, yeah. And bam, bam. And here she is, the finished product, the country diva, the most comfortable seat in any house, baby, the chaise lounge. I think with the right hair and the right outfit, it really pulls off a snatched fucking puss face with a big old beard. And I'll tell you, people like it. People. I mean, people. I mean, I hope people like it. <laughs> and you may be asking yourself, why blonde? And if you ask yourself that, bring yourself closer to the camera. Just a little bit closer. Just closer to your own camera. Yeah, okay. Blondes have more fun, so. I hope you got some tips, learned some tricks, or just had some fun kikiing with me while I got ready today. Love you, Shug. See you next time. Hey, Shugs, it's me, Shay's Lounge, the most comfortable seat in any house. I hope you like the new mug. I hope to see you soon, and I hope you're staying safe. Bye.